How would you rate your memory on a scale from 1 to 10? In this comprehensive guide, I'm going to give you the tools to increase your score by up to 100%. This means that you will potentially save years of your life trying to painfully memorize something. Just give me your full attention for the next three minutes. You will even be able to test how well you are able to remember the information you will learn in this video with a short quiz at the end. To understand how you can drastically improve your memory, you first have to know what a memory even is. For that, we need to do a bit of Brain Science 101. Bear with me as this is an opportunity to raise your general level of education and will be very useful to know later in life. You are constantly being bombarded with physical stimuli, like the sound waves you are hearing right now. All the stimuli are then converted into electrical and chemical signals by your nervous system. You can imagine that these electrical and chemical signals are the language of your body. What is important to understand is that we are only aware of a small percentage of the sensory information. Otherwise, we would just be overwhelmed with all the things that are happening in any given moment. Now here comes the key part. Memory is simply a bias in which perceptions will be replayed again in the future. Now, I am going to tell you how to leverage the process of memorization in order to remember the information that you want far better and easier. You already know that repetition is a way to strengthen a memory, but the problem is that it takes a long time and that the new memories are often short-lived. The good news is that there is a way to essentially establish stronger memories in a shorter time period. It is the emotional state you are in after you experience something that dictates whether you are going to learn it quickly. This is why research shows that caffeine intake directly after trying to learn something is so useful, as caffeine releases adrenaline. Another way to spike adrenaline immediately after memorizing is to take a cold shower, but remember that you should start slow if you are new to cold exposure. Memorization almost always involves the strengthening of particular synapses in the brain, and not so much the increase in the number of neurons. However, there is one activity which helps you do exactly that. Cardiovascular exercise. For the longevity and memory benefits, you should aim for around three hours of low-intensity cardiovascular exercise per week. It could make a lot of sense to time an exercise session one to three hours before learning, as the increased blood flow is beneficial for your brain and more specifically the hippocampus. Now here is a very fascinating trick to increase your visual memory. Take a mental snapshot of something. To do that, just look at something with full focus and then snap your eyelids shut. Related to that, we can also enhance our memory by taking a real photo of something while paying attention. You will remember what you photographed better, even if you delete it without having seen it again. The last tool we will talk about is a particularly powerful one. With just an investment of 13 minutes a day in meditation, you can get robust memory enhancement effects. However, contrary to popular belief, you should not meditate in the evening as meditation leads to increased activity in your prefrontal cortex, which could impair sleep and consequently worsen your memory. So generally do not meditate after 5 p.m. Now it's time to see how well you can remember the information you just learned about. How can caffeine intake aid in memory enhancement? According to the video, it directly increases the number of neurons in the brain. It releases adrenaline, strengthening memories. It promotes better sleep for improved memory consolidation. When is the recommended time to engage in cardiovascular exercise for memory benefits? Immediately after learning, one to three hours before learning, during meditation sessions. How does the video describe memory as a bias? A tendency to remember only positive experiences. A selective process where certain perceptions are chosen for future replay. A neurological predisposition to forget specific events. 